Let's have a look at some of the features of the Flow EFD solver next. Flow EFD uses its own proprietary solver, similar to its own mesher. It exhibits very robust convergence behavior due to some of the features covered in the meshing section. The classic 3D CFD solving approach is employed, which is augmented with engineering models to provide empirical correlations. This is especially pronounced in the boundary layer treatment. Wall functions are used in conjunction with the smart cells at the boundary layer, which means that a coarse grid can be used at the wall without any consideration for Y plus tolerances. All of this technology is implemented without requiring any user input, again to reduce simulation complexity and promote ease of use. User-defined engineering goals are specified to extract key performance data and are also utilized to monitor solution convergence. Moving further left in the ribbon toolbar, we can see there are several goal types we can apply to the model. Goals can be in the form of global, point, surface, volume and equation depending on what needs to be measured. In our model, we've got goals for inlet water pressure and outlet water temperature. This will give us our delta P and delta T. Volume goals are used to monitor the maximum temperature on the IGBT and diode parts as these will be the hottest components in the model. The equation goals are at the bottom and are manually created to easily digest the deltas between the goals. During the actual solver execution, the usual Navier-Stokes equations are being solved to ensure conservation of mass, momentum and energy, but the solver is also checking the goals to ensure steady-state convergence behavior before the solver will stop. The convergence criteria can be adjusted for user-defined accuracy. If we look at the solver options, we can see that the mesher needs to be run before the actual solver. The mesher and solver are both parallel compute enabled and can utilize as many CPU cores as needed. This is by default and requires no additional license. The Flow EFD license is also network floating by default, which means the CPU intensive solving process can be offloaded to a dedicated solving machine or server. The option to close the CAD is available, so the NX license can be freed up if the solve will be long. While the solver is running, the goals can be monitored graphically to ensure sensible results and preview plots can be created to ensure results confidence. This particular model takes about 5 minutes to generate a mesh for and about 20 minutes to solve the convergence. The benefit to the user of the Flow EFD solver is that there is automatic monitoring and convergence behavior using intuitive goals. The solution can be monitored in real time to ensure results are sensible and that there haven't been any errors setting the model up. The solver can be run on a remote machine to free up local resources. To summarize what we just saw, the solver has many unique features which ensure reliable results. The solver exhibits robust convergence behavior driven by user-defined goals. The process is seamless and the user can expect quick, accurate results with minimal manual intervention.